In this segment, we will cover the step-by-step -step process in both the software and the CE7000 to continuously contour cut printed images using the Datalink barcode system. Using this process, you can literally contour cut a whole roll of different printed decal designs, all hands-free. Since these are step-by-step -step instructions, it is highly recommended that the video on using the Datalink barcode system be reviewed if you want a more in-depth instruction of how this system works. While Adobe Illustrator will be used in this instance, the general steps are the same when using Corel Draw as well. In this demonstration, we have two separate jobs. We have this job design that is shown on the screen, and this other job design, which has barcodes and registration marks already applied and is ready to print. So let's switch back to the other design to show how to get this job to the point of having barcodes and registration marks. In this job design, there has already been a cut line applied and placed on its own layer. To make this work efficiently, the first step is to resize the artboard so that it fits the artwork, the registration marks, and barcodes. The reason for this is that Cutting Master 4 uses the artboard dimensions in the placement of the barcodes and registration marks. In other words, if we kept the artboard size as it is now, the barcodes and registration marks would be placed on the outer corners of the artboard. This in turn wastes space. To tighten the artboard, click the Artboard tool in the Tools palette. Then in the Artboard Tool Options palette on the other side of the screen, Let's click on the Preset pull-down menu, and then select Fit to Artwork Bounds. This will resize the artboard to the size of the design. The next step is to extend the top and bottom margins of the artboard. These margins have to be at least an inch and a half or more from both the top and bottom edges. To do this, three inches has to be added to the current height of the artboard. So in the Artboard Options palette, select the height value, and set the value to three inches more than the current height. In this case, the height is 6.07, so it has to be changed to the value of 9.07 or slightly greater. Notice that the artboard now has an inch and a half extra margin on both the top and bottom. The artboard is set, so let's exit this tool and create the barcodes and registration marks by clicking on the File pull-down menu, hovering the mouse over Cutting Master 4, clicking on Registration Marks, and this opens the Registration Mark Generator. In this window, click on the Use Barcode checkbox to open those settings. Click on the Barcode Type pull-down menu to select Roll Media. Below that, set the barcode location so that the barcodes are set on both edges of the design. This ensures that the barcodes can be read no matter which direction the media is loaded, forward or backwards. Click on Get Printer Margin, which ensures that there will be a slight margin between the barcodes and the edge of the artboard. And then click OK. Once again, the barcodes are now placed on both edges of the design. We could leave this design as is, but notice that we can tighten up this job a little more. In some designs, such as this one, the artboard can be tighter around the design and yet will fit the barcodes and the registration marks. Let's tighten this by pressing Ctrl C to remove the barcodes and the registration marks. Click on the Artboard tool, and in the Artboard Options tool palette, once again set the preset artboard size to fit to artboard bounds. The artboard is set, so let's exit this tool and create the barcodes and registration marks by clicking on the File pull-down menu, hovering the mouse over Cutting Master 4, clicking on Registration Marks, and this opens the Registration Mark Generator, and then click OK. At this point, this and the other design can be sent to the printer. Keep in mind though, that if you're printing different jobs on the same roll, Make sure that within the RIP, you specify that the jobs be aligned to either the right or left side of the media, and not the center. Once the printed roll is done, go ahead and load it on the cutter. 
Next, we need to send the cut lines to the cutter. The CE7000 will then look for this file in one of two locations. The first location is in the Cutting Master 4 job queue through a USB or LAN cable. The second location is on the USB thumb drive that is placed in the secondary USB port on the back of the CE7000. Therefore, before we create the cut file, we have to determine the location it was saved to, the Cutting Master 4 job queue or a thumb drive. In this lesson, we will be having the CE7000 get the file from the Cutting Master 4 job queue. If you plan to use the thumb drive, review the lesson on using the data link barcode system. There are two simple steps to using the Cutting Master 4 job queue. First, open or switch to the Cutting Master 4 job queue. Click on the data link button on top of the window and this message appears. Click yes, showing that you want to communicate through the data link server. And a red outline around the button will appear indicating that the jobs can be accessed directly by the CE7000. Next is to change the CE7000 data link settings. This is done by pressing the pause menu key, pressing the right arrow key, pressing 1 for destination, pressing 2 for server USB, pressing enter to accept the change, and then pressing the pause menu key again to go to the home window. Let's switch back to Adobe Illustrator and create the cut file in the queue by clicking on the file pull-down menu, hovering over Cutting Master 4, and clicking Cut Plot. This opens the design in the Cut Plot window. Let's go ahead and turn off the layers that are set to print. In the main tab, check the Hold in List option. Now we just click Send, and the cut job is placed in the Cutting Master 4 job queue. Let's go back to Adobe Illustrator, switch to the other job, and once again return to Cutting Master 4. Click on the Layers palette to ensure that the print layer is disabled. And then click Send. Now it is placed in the Cutting Master 4 job queue, waiting for the CE7000 to essentially obtain the file when needed. To start the process, simply press the barcode button on the CE7000 control panel. The cutter will ask that the tool head be positioned near the black start bar of the barcode. It's best to position it in front of the bar about a half an inch. Once the tool head has been positioned, press enter on the control panel. The cutter will scan for the barcode and obtain the file from the data link barcode system that is being held in the Cutting Master 4 queue. Then the registration marks and then contour cut the first printed design. Once it completes the cut, it will continue and start searching for the barcode for the next job. Scan the barcode, finds the registration marks, and contour cuts the job. It will continue to do this until it runs out of barcodes or you stop the operation by pressing the pause menu key. Needless to say, this operation is a very productive way of contour cutting multiple job designs.